Martinez joins us now. We also have with us CNN contributor Bob Costas using the name Redskins. Gentlemen, thank you. Uh, President Nez, um, how big a deal is this? What does it mean to you? Hey, Chris, thank you for having me on the show again. And I am never thought I'd be uh, having a uh, sit down with uh, two legends, of course, too, Chris Cuomo and Bob Costas. And, uh, you know, it is a great day for indigenous people, not just in this country, but all over the world. I think, uh, you know, really the attention has been placed on Native Americans throughout this country. And, you know, with this pandemic that hit us hard, you know, we uh, got national attention. And, you know, I think this plays a factor into some of the decisions that are being made here, especially in terms of renaming uh, the Redskins. And, you know, I commend the NFL. I commend the Washington team for uh, reevaluating their name. And, you know, this uh, name Redskins is is a disparaging uh, term that is used. And if anybody were to use that, and I think, uh, you know, Bob mentioned this uh, the other day, if any other team were to use this term in the 21st century, it wouldn't even uh, be considered. And, you know, today we are moving forward and in a positive direction for tribal communities throughout uh, the United States. The name Redskins is distinct from Chiefs, Braves, Warriors. But when it comes to the Redskins, defines Redskins as insulting a slur out, naming itself something like the Redskins. And what is the equivalent of Redskins when applied to any other named the Redskins? And President Nez has suggested the Code Talkers. The Code Talkers have an important role in World War II. Huge in the, in the, the, in the war effort. Mr. President, I told you uh, when we first spoke, you can't be forgotten. You're part of the family. Uh, neither we all make it forward together here or none of us will. You're always welcome on the show. You always have the platform. Thank God uh, your constituents are listening.